Hi, YouTubers and WhatChavers everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeToon.com. I'm back with another video. This time around, I wanted to share with you some of the razor blades I've been using for my daily shave that I put into my shaving rotation. Um, these give me some really, really nice results. This is by no means a complete list, but these are some of the blades that I've been going to lately because I'm getting such a nice shaving result. Let's kick it off with Vikings Blade Razor Blades. These are really very, very nice. They're made from Swedish steel. I believe they're platinum coated and they are rated mild. So if you have coarse hair, probably not going to work uh, as well for you as they do for me. I'm a fair skinned individual and I really like the mild quality. They're mild, they're sharp, they're long lasting. I do get a good five to seven shaves from one blade. Really, really worth the money. And regardless of the razor I use, I get a nice mild shave with these. Very, very smooth. I like these a lot. Vikings blade razor blades. The nice thing about them is if you were to buy an, a Vikings blade chieftain razor or an Odin razor or even their long handled Vulcan razor like this right here, they include those razor blades right there for you. So you get five of them right off the bat which uh, makes it really a nice purchase. You get the razor, you get the blades, a good, long-lasting, mild, yet very sharp uh, blade uh, to, to kick off your wet shaving adventure. Really very, very nice. Next up, when I came back to the wet shave, uh, this is the razor blade that I tried early on, um, Persona. This, these are also known as the Persona Blue razor blades. These are smooth and sharp. That's the only way I can describe them because that's the kind of shave I get from them. Uh, consistent, consistently. They're just wrapped in white and uh, they are just a terrific, consistent go-to blade. Uh, I've gotten some really, really nice shaves from the Persona Blue. Now, there's also another one out there that I have not tried. It's known as Persona Red. I believe those are manufactured in Israel and those are a little more aggressive than these. These are smooth and they are sharp, but the Persona Reds are a little more aggressive. So if you're looking for something a little more aggressive, you might want to investigate those. Now, all these razor blades vary in price from six and a half dollars on up to, I don't know, 10, 12, 13 dollars. Uh, depending on the brand that you buy and where you buy them online. So I'm not going to post any of the prices with them, but I will have links to them below uh, because prices change, prices vary. So make sure you investigate online for the, best, for the best price. Next up is Astra. Astra is another blade that is platinum coated. And boy, this is loved by wet shavers the world over. Very smooth very nice shave. Um, there's something about the platinum coating on these razor blades that really give you a smoothness. Uh, I'm, I tend to lean towards the platinum coated, the chromium coated blades. Uh, I don't know if it's, a, if it's a platinum Teflon coating or a chromium Teflon coating, whatever they put on this. I believe this is platinum. Uh, but it really does smooth the performance of the blade while maintaining its sharpness. As I say, wet shavers love this blade, the Astro Blade. If you haven't tried them, give them a try. You'll be very, very surprised at how close and smooth and consistent they are, blade after blade. Really, really very, very nice. Next up is a, a new blade that uh, was recommended to me by uh, someone on one of the shaving forums. These are really nice. Treat, Treat Platinum. I uh, have never tried these before and uh, Heard of them, never tried them, uh, went ahead and bought some. Boy, were these nice. And uh, you know what? Again, like the Astra and like the Persona, platinum coated, nice and smooth. The price is a little less than, I would say, the Persona, maybe even a little less than the, uh, the Astra, but you'll have to uh, uh, do some checking on that. But really, a nice, nice razor blade. Um, no complaints at all from these. And again, just was very, very surprised at how smooth and close the shave I can get with Treat. Treat Platinum. Again, platinum coated blade, super stainless steel, really nice, smooth quality to this uh, blade. Now, uh, in the bargain area, 
Uh, if you're on a budget, Dorco. Dorco makes the ST301. These are also platinum coated, uh, but uh, these are really priced for those who are a little more budget conscious. Some guys really, really like these. Again, it depends on your skin and beard type, but some guys, some wet shavers, really like these blades a lot. They are platinum coated. They do have a smooth quality to them, and um, they're very, very affordable. That's the great thing about them. And again, I believe this is a stainless blade. Yeah, it's a stainless blade, and it's platinum coated. So these are very, very nice. I believe these are made, I'm not sure, but I believe these are now made in Vietnam. Now, some wet shavers uh, saw a difference from uh, this blade when it was made in South Korea uh, compared to where they're made now in Vietnam. Some say that the South Korean uh, manufactured blade was a little smoother than these. They're nice, they're smooth, they're platinum coated, and they are quite affordable. Now, if you want to step it up a little bit and pay a few bucks more, Dorco makes um, Dorco Prime. Now, these, I believe, are made in South Korea, and they are quite smooth, and they are uh, platinum coated, and they are a little thinner, and they are a little bit sharper, and they do cost a few bucks more, but boy, oh boy, these are really, really nice, and uh, I really enjoy shaving with these uh, a great deal. Another great platinum coated blade that uh, I believe is also stainless. Really, really very, very nice. And just looking at the packaging, um, it says platinum, but it doesn't say whether it's stainless or not. I'm assuming that they are stainless. But uh, Dorco makes some really, really nice razor blades, nice, affordable razor blades. Next up, these are great. Derby Extra. These are um, uh, stainless blades that are... Chromium, ceramic, platinum, tungsten, and polymer-coated edges. Uh, boy, a smooth, smooth performer. Boy, do I like this blade a lot. This is another blade I used early on when I came back to the uh, traditional wet shave. And uh, they are really, really very, very smooth, very, very nice. Now, uh, again, depending on your skin and beard, uh, you may not get as many shaves out of these as you will some of the others. But uh, still, uh, they are very cost effective. So um, even if you only get, say, three shaves from one of these blades, uh, you're still pennies a shave, which is, uh, which is great, which is why shaving with a safety razor is, is such a treat because uh, it's so economical. Uh, you can just buy a package of blades, 100 blades, for about uh, seven, eight bucks and you know, get them it's pennies a shave. Uh, Derby also has Derby Premium. Now, this has the same kind of coating on these blades. It's got the chromium, ceramic, platinum, tungsten, and polymer coated edges that Derby Extra has. The only difference is these are made with Swedish steel. Um, and these are very, very nice. Very, very smooth blade. Um, I like them a lot. I mean, I, <laughs> I have no complaints. These give me some really, really nice shaves. And again, uh, they don't run into a lot of money. You'd have to check the price again, but I don't recall these being, uh, being an outrageously priced. Really, really very, very nice blade. Uh, again, Derby. Derby makes some great uh, razor blades, and uh, they also make a really nice shaving sticks. These are um, uh, manufactured in Turkey, I believe. So this is manufactured in Turkey. So... Um, you know, these blades are made all over the world. I believe these are made in Russia. Uh, the Persona, I believe, are made in USA. Vikings blade, razor blades, I believe, are made in USA. Treat, treat blades are made in Pakistan. Next up are shark blades. Shark blades are made in Egypt, and they're super stainless steel. And I believe these are uncoated. I don't believe these are coated at all. And you can get a hundred of these in a packet like this, again, on a sleeve like this. And these are terrific. They're very, very sharp. They're sharp, yet there is a smooth quality to them. Now, a lot of uh, folks on the internet, a lot of wet shavers on the internet, compare the Shark uh, Super Stainless with the Shark Chromium Coated. And they feel that these are sharper, but the Chromium might be a little smoother. I've not used the Chromium. I've used these. These give me a nice, close shave. And yes, 
there is a, a nice sharpness to it. Um, I haven't really noticed if it's uh, not as smooth as a platinum blade, I get a nice shave from them. So I really couldn't, you know, I don't, I don't shave with them and say, oh, gee whiz, uh, it's not coated. Um, as far as I know, it's not coated. If you know, other, if you know otherwise, comment below and let me know. But as far as I know, uh, shark blades, super stainless, made in Egypt, are not coated. Now I know for a fact, Shaver Boy, Shaver Boy or razor blades are stainless steel. These are not coated. I confirmed that with the company, but they still give you a nice close shave. There is a sharpness there that um, is a bit more. They're a bit less, a little more aggressive than some of the blades that uh, are coated. But nonetheless, it still gives you a nice smooth shave. And boy, these are affordably priced. These are distributed out of Canada uh, by uh, Shaverboy, shaverboy.com, right there on their website. So you might want to check them out. So those are some of the blades that I've been using, and um, I like them a lot. They're really, really great. I get some really great shades from them. Again, this is by no means um, a complete list. There are a lot of other blades that I use that I'll probably update it down the road sometimes. But if you're looking to try a different blade, you might want to consider some of these brands. I've got some really nice shaves from them. And, um, you know, no complaints. And the quality and consistency of the blade is very good for each one of these brands, blade after blade after blade after blade. And that is to say, I don't think I've come across a bum blade from any of these. They're all very good, well manufactured, and their quality is very, very consistent. And again, the prices range from six and a half bucks all the way up to about 12, 13, 14 dollars, uh, depending on the brand and depending where you buy them online. So, so I wanted to share with you right now is that, uh, these razor blades and uh, they, some really, really terrific, terrific razor blades out there. And uh, if you, uh, you wanna kinda change up your shave, you might wanna consider getting some of these. All right, that's all I wanted to mention to you. Thanks very much. Comment below, let me know. Please share, please subscribe. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Please check out my blog, georgetoon.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this, and I'll see you again real soon.